there were comments, you know, like, why, why am I doing this? Isn't there like better job? Like there are real jobs out there. I'm wasting my future. Here, here, first pick up. Yeah, Fabiola, please. Fabiola. Okay. You guys, 188? No, no, no. 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 Hi, Uber Eats. I'm like, should I leave it here? Hello, Uber Eats? Hello everyone, it's me, Jom, and this is Journey Ride Along channel. It is going to be another video that I'll take you along with me delivering with Uber Eats and DoorDash today. And um, just sharing, you know, what happens in a day of doing delivery for me. Customer didn't respond. It was a meet at the door. I called, I texted. So I just told them in the message that it's there at the doorstep. It's already 3.35 p.m. And because of this time of year, um, many people are you know finding extra cash or whatever so i will probably be delivering for christmas eve and even christmas day you guys um so i'll update you when i get a next order so i have a hot chai latte starbucks craving and some hot chocolate croissant hot chocolate croissant i mean like a croissant the chocolate croissant warmed up Alright, great. Great news. I got another good order. I got my chocolate croissant, but I'm gonna have to go get this Baby Bros pizza order. Oh my gosh, I want to eat it right now. And then I have my... I really want to eat it. And then, um, yeah, this is my chai, hot chai latte. Here. My Baby Bros. everything a liter of two liter and a pizza i've been here before it's like a double t tree hotel and it told me if there's no room number then the lobby but there is a room number and it's a tan to me you know i hate one thing about the pizza bag when you sip it up and it's really hot it would like fog up and stuff but if i don't sip it up all the way it's gonna slide out of course, you know. All oh, right. Oh, come on! It's not opening. So when will? Oh my gosh! 
This door works. Oh my god. Uh, no, it does not. Um, is there a way to enter besides this door? Or how, how can I enter that door? <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. I'm sorry about that. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Happy holidays. Man, without this customer, I mean, the hotel customer, I don't think, I think they prohibit people outside. I think the hotel staff's probably like, how did she get in? That was such a big help. See, there are good people in the world. <laughs> no matter what life puts you through, you know, there's goodness in this world still. <laughs> That's some motivational quote there. Oh my gosh. All right. Almost there. to deliver before and that door was not locked like that before now I guess they prohibit outsiders okay. hi there Alright, I'm glad that delivery went by smoothly. At first, I thought I have to tell the customer I really hate when, like, you know, something doesn't go as planned. Like, oh my god, the automatic door's not opening. Can you come down or something like that? Then, you know, then you gotta wait and everything. So, that was such a coincidence that that, that man who was uh, staying over there at the hotel had a key card and he helped me to go in. So, we're around like 22 ish dollars right now at around hour and a half ish I guess we'll just wait I'm like here near a BJ's also a Lucille Smokehouse I've never picked anything up at Olive Garden but then I see an Olive Garden right here actually I'm near a mall so I'm not sure if this is a good area because some stores inside of the rest I mean in the mall I don't know where they are like one time they told me to go to Cinnabon or Wetzel's Pretzels and there's like one on the bottom, one all the way at the end somewhere on the second floor and I had to cancel because I have no idea where it was. There were comments, you know, like, why why am I doing this? Isn't there like better job? Like there are real jobs out there. I'm wasting my future. Um, maybe it was like back, you know, in the days where you know, I ha actually have a college degree and everything, right? I majored in economics and stuff. But, I mean, back then, I would be like, oh man, I would be like wasting my degree by not going to a job that has anything related to my degree and stuff like that, right? In two days' time, anything as easy concept of just picking things up and dropping it, at, it off, if it's legal, okay, like food and stuff, groceries, as long as it makes you money, you know, I'm not gonna... Um, consider like oh it's wasting my time or life because here's the downfall of um on my end like what happened there why am i not at a corporate job earning six figures or whatever there's so much potential because um my family okay having families who are immigrants like you know that is not uh that is not something wrong with that there's many like first generations or whatever in America who are Asian Americans whose parents actually made it coming here with nothing, zero English skill level. The downfall was not having mentorship. Like 
um, that's why I I agree that um, I totally believe that people should go to school. Um, not unless it's gonna you know hit you financially. I mean, I got FAFSA. I went to college for free all the way because um, my mom was a single parent so I went to college for free so if you have the opportunity it's free everything I just think that that's your um, it will be a foundation a good foundation if you have if you can go to college but if you know you, it's really um, you know like you cannot afford it you're gonna go into 100k debt and stuff but if it's worth it in the end you know like if it's a good like career I don't know about being doctors now back in the days Asians want their kids to be a doctor because they will for sure have a good life and everything today I'm not sure like when they'll actually like you know pay off their debt but it's really up to like say that's your passion that's your goal go for it but if you're doing something just because someone tells you to just because your parent wants you to just because you think it will be a good outcome for you then I don't know you will everyone will find themselves no matter what the job is earning big or small the world needs the world needs you <laughs> you know like every small little job out there no matter how like you know you think you don't have recognition you're not important to the world or whatever um well i hope everyone finds himself you know the the reason of not having a mentor like someone who has experience of being successful or something like you know like a parent that says okay go to college take the important classes first go for math go for english because no matter what that's going to be the prerequisite or something like that right I almost didn't go to college because at first I thought it wasn't going to be free and I thought you didn't need it to, right? I fortunately, randomly, back in the days, okay, there were, back in the days, yeah, back in the days, I'm telling you, um, the generation and everything is just different now that, um, that for me, like, you know, I, of course, wasn't as talkative, didn't meet too many people, the fewer the groups of people you talk to that's who you end up with for life and if they're bad people then you are with a like not very supportive person or whatever all your life but I'm not sure how networking like you know people think you have to talk to like everybody to get to somewhere but if you just meet like one right person or something that'll you know change your life around or whatever I'm not talking about like a special whatever person just like one friend one like stranger that like tells you something that will change your life you know that's gonna change everything around well what happened here was um i had a friend well okay wow this is such a long story you guys because i'm not getting any order so might as well just um you'll just listen to me talk today um yeah so uh one thing is here's the thing why Mm, minority group poor people in America there's fewer opportunity because why the district of school of kids that goes to school you're in um, not such a good district and I'm not gonna judge or say this is true for all because even in the poor community there are good people there are smart kids but what's the majority there are kids that are like you know it's different it's different if rich people go to a good neighborhood one of the top schools you'll meet what rich group of friends more opportunities your friends families might have a good job that they could recommend you or whatever well the thing one thing that at least i got my foot into knowing a little more about just getting one little advice of mentorship was I had a friend and I didn't even know she was rich until much later I didn't even know about like I knew the area that I went in school was a good area but here's the kind of like ghetto thing was I didn't actually live in Glendale as a kid but I had a family friend who he had a brother who had a home in, in Glendale I can say it now because it's many years ago 
and pretty much if they find out you don't live there you get kicked out of the school district but anyway I used their address and you need a letter for water bills and whatever right well there are ways for you to do that if they allow you whatever okay but here's the thing that um, yeah so um, I was able to go into you know good school district whatever most kids there were really rich and then this friend he was a friend of my friend six dollar three miles auntie Anne's auntie Anne's is in the uh, in the mall so I might not do this one I don't even know where it is I gotta go inside the mall so I'm not gonna do this one Let's, let me just wait for a good one maybe a BJ's here yeah anyway so this friend of my friend who she was really rich whatever which is probably from a good family suit right um, there's nothing significant about this relationship it was all friendship right we were just friends but he told me how to apply to that FAFSA thing to get free education I know they were like from a good family but the thing is they probably had families who went to school who knows things and they told me he told me about this website then he told me how to get on with this going to um, community college first you know because it was cheaper whatever once I applied, you know, my college tuition became free. He said, take the math, take the um, the English one first. Start with just like these few units. And then, you know, I, I got it like going. And like, you know, I then, you know, you just need like just one mentorship. Because, you know, when you're a kid, like you don't know anything until somebody tells you in this school. It doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you about not going to debt doesn't tell you about the stuff that will make people smarter you know it doesn't tell you about investment or like or like taxes you know so if anything I'm not like an expert but I finally know a few things later on you know that I'm saying it could change the world around I'm not the person to go wow find friends like you know at I, I'm like expressive and stuff if I'm close to you but I do have small very few um, groups of friends and stuff like that right and then I wasn't confident in myself so what happens after that when I got out of college and went for a job that I'm like okay I can do this you know I applied for like um, call center at an airline so where's the growth there you know sometimes you're like oh why don't you stay or grow at a company um if you're at a job somewhere and you imagine what is the biggest position there that you can go be become you know what a manager at the call center you know so i mean it was fun you know to have like that corporate like well corporate i don't know well you, you do get to dress like business uh casual you know and just like the clock in clock out whatever learn new basics it was really good but of course the pay wasn't much and what happens after like a long time there the thing that um, I was trying to um, do which I could not achieve at a, with a full-time job at an office job okay because it takes a lot of your time you get paid like what bi-weekly there was no way for me to make more than that salary right so sometimes you just got, got to figure how you can, you know, make um, life the way you want it to be, no matter what you choose to do. I'm just going to leave it there. Maybe there's going to be part two, you know, and then so that concludes like why, like you say, why am I doing this? Like, what's the future, you know, what's the future for me at like... A company job like if I find passion in like maybe somewhere like you know if I wanted to be a software developer I want to be into Google one day that's why you set goals young and fast and know what you want to do not when you're there at a fast food workplace five years six years in and then what happens you know um, I have always had a passion about doing something of my own and that's um you know how I got into taxes and stuff and I do taxes and um at first i was like oh it would be so cool if i had like my own um thing you know slowly maybe gradually something 
but I am glad for the opportunity and little, you know, little like kindness and just in life, you know, like this is good enough, but it, it can get, it can be better, but yeah, so I will see how it goes from here. Man, this is a bad location. Where are the orders? Like there's a so much good restaurants here. Chick-fil-A, let's just do this. $10 six miles and Chick-fil-A is nearby. Alright guys, I picked up the food already and now I'm delivering it and I cannot enter the place. I don't know what they said, something about the left side of the mailbox and there will be a door. Left side or the right? Maybe it's this door? Oh no, I don't think it's this door. Uh, cannot enter door gate. Oh, I came back, I had to push in. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. Sorry, I had to push in and I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. no worries. Like to, okay. To oh. yeah. okay, have a good night. You Sorry about that. Thank worry. you. Okay, bye. It's like so dark. This thing right here. I don't know, I guess I have extra time to show you. It's like, gotta go like that. At first I was like, yeah, the bottom one doesn't work. Alright guys, I am now going to pick up Pizza Hut. It's a DoorDash order around $7.75 for for 1.6 miles. I'm glad it's not like busy in here. Let's see. Yeah. Customer's name is Suzanne. Hi, hey, yes, for Suzanne, please. Uh, can you give me three more minutes? Okay, thanks. I never seen a pizza like this size, like this long. I don't think it even fits in uh, my bigger pizza bag. Let's see if it's this house. It doesn't have any. Hmm. One one two seven. Hi. Did Hi. You? Sorry about that. Oh, you ordered, right? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here you Thank are. You so much. Thank you. Have for a good being night. Being so brave to come oh, out. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, gotta gotta hustle. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. It's almost seven. I just earned around forty one dollars right now. Amanda, please. Oh. Medium lemonade. Okay, thank you. Medium. Let's do this one. I need to confirm the order first. Um, e no, e no, no, are you trying to get into or something? Uh, I can get in, I oh, I have to on my 
Oh, if you don't mind, is that okay? <laughs> I'm just doing a delivery and they told me to press something. I'm waiting for food then. Oh, so thank you. Mind. Okay, thank you so much. Yes. All right, so yeah, she told me to enter something, her room, so I can get in remotely, but it's crazy. <laughs> because um, I tried to call, but it wasn't <laughs> opening the door for me. Okay, let's just wait for the elevators because I don't feel like walking the stairs for four, four floors. I hope that wasn't my customer though, because it's a girl. She said, um, okay, should I start walking up the stairs? Getting a room like all the way at the end. Alright. Nice room groups in there. So now we have their room open and they have Christmas trees and everything. Los Angeles, California. Rent is probably like around 2k so like a one bed possibly oh man and I do walk the room all the way at the back here we are yeah hi here we go let's take a quick picture okay all right thank you If you're a customer and you um, don't actually deliver food but you're watching this, yeah, we pull and act in front of the ring cam. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you know. I am sincerely thankful though. Someone's having a joy joyful time there. It's good to hear laughter in this time and economy and everything. Yeah, guys, at Chick-fil-A, I didn't film and stuff. There was a lot of people. Um, thank you, this one person, he, he said hi to me. Thank you so much for saying hi. And it's like, he says he watches my channel. I'm, it's so weird when I actually see like someone who watches in person and then I'm like I hope I didn't like goof up or do something really embarrassing. Doing another one that I got right away. Okay they need three and there is just three left. Awesome. Okay. They actually need two This is some last thing. Blue corn tortilla chips. Okay. It's 
not it. 18 ounce and everything. Oh, this one's 12 ounce. Okay, thank you. Bye. Another one I took and I believe I am stupid again. I thought it was both for Path Express. For Huey, please. Oh yeah, it's for Huey, please. Thank you so much. Caesar dip or something? It's buffalo uh, ranch. Let me get that for you. Oh, and then it's gonna so be much. a 20 ounce star. It's gonna be this small one. Is this star? You ran out? Uh, temperature, do you want? Sure, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Was it? Um, it's two and one. This is three. 20. Sorry, three oh. times. Thank you very much. Mexican restaurant. At first I thought it was Alberto's, then I checked the address and it was different. It was for Albert's. Where shall I go in? There's like no door for me to... Um... It's for Huey, yes, Uber fine. Eats. Uh, yeah, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Happy holidays. Okay. Thank you. Nice. See you at first. It was. I was like. I was like, I got gypped. I'm like, okay, fine. Ten dollars, two pickups, but, but it turns out to be four miles. But I think this order turns out to be like fifteen bucks. Nice. not a good order it's always something all right car after that little caesar's drop off from that ten dollar stacked order i get this six dollar around 2.2 miles also on uber eats hi picking up her Andrea A, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let me confirm that. It's like some business and I they texted like this pin code right and then i'm like i thought it was a building number but it's actually a pin so i delivered that already. all right guys i got another shop and pay it is 11 dollars around four miles six things at cvs start shopping let's see smuckers the woman and stuff like always At least we got that. 
Okay, do I okay I'm just gonna try to scan it. I don't think they'll be happy because the price difference is look it's uh this is two twenty nine. The original thing is three thirty nine, so it's a dollar difference and it's like way smaller. Oh man, okay, I found this this thing. Smuckers jelly peanut butter jelly sandwich. I think after this, including the cash tip and everything, I'm gonna be at around just 87. Let me see. What did she say? 7960. Okay, I'll just leave it. Yeah, she gave me the pin, so I'll put it. Oh, right here. Oh, she said she's sick and she can't come out. Okay. Okay, so, uh, it was a little bit longer out here, but that's basically the normal hours, five to six hours when I do deliver and I believe I should come out to, from both apps, DoorDash and Uber Eats combined, should come out to around $87 plus that cash tip. Let's see how I do the next delivery and regardless, I'm going to say it's a good day because I just went to Pan Express. And they said only tonight if I bought a plate, they will give me another one for free. Okay, so I bought one which was the side all chow mein and the two sides is um orange chicken. And then I got another one for free. Oh my god. I will see you guys in the next video guys.